One in three adults in Olmstead County are struggling with mental illness, according to an Olmstead County 2023 mental health survey. Today, providers in Rochester are discussing how to improve care and resources for patients in our area. KIMT News 3's Evan Berg is joining us live from the Southeast Minnesota Community Mental Health and Wellness Conference. Evan, this year's theme is Many Paths to Wellness. Tell us how it's shaping the conversation around mental illness. Jess, the conference today aims to change the conversation around mental illness here in the county by decreasing the stigma around seeking help. As you can see behind me, it's winding down a little bit as they're switching over to their Spanish language sessions, but the conference discussed the many paths to wellness available here in the county for people to look for. Starting around 8, 8.30 this morning, mental health care professionals from around the state made their way to the free event. Dozens of providers and advocates talked to community members about available resources and mental health crisis preventative measures. I spoke with the Minnesota nonprofit Wellness in the Woods and Hiawatha Mental Health and the Hiawatha Mental Health Center. Both organizations say disorders like anxiety and depression are pervasive in the state. However, patients who need treatment often struggle to not only find resources, but know where to find them. Because it isn't just about you need to go into a clinic and get a diagnosis. Maybe, maybe there's something that is more of a supportive thing for you. It doesn't have to be the crisis team or the emergency room. Better to get help sooner. But we are fortunate here in Southeast Minnesota to have so many resources available to folks who might be going through a challenging time in terms of their mental health or their emotional well-being. The conference will continue to give Spanish-speaking mental health seekers uh, continued advice on ways they can seek out therapy and online counseling until around 7 p.m. In Rochester, Evan Burke, KIMT News 3. Thank you, Evan. If you do drop by, you can find both English and Spanish-speaking options sessions, as mentioned by Evan, at that event until 7 p.m.